Come in. Hi, Brett. How are you? Hi. Hi, Grandpa. I'm doing... I'm not doing too well. Oh, really? Well, that's what your mom told me. I spoke to her on the phone today. She says you were feeling a little under the weather, so I thought I'd come over and cheer you up a little bit, if that's okay. Well, thanks. Come in. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid, we didn't have TV or anything to entertain us, so... Often my grandfather would come and read to me, so I thought I would do the same. This is a poem he read to me. I thought maybe you'd like it. Wow. Um, I Met a Rat of Culture by Jack Perluski. It's one of my favorites. Do you mind if I read you a few lines? Sure. Okay. Let me sit down over here. As long as it's not too boring. Well, I'm sure it's a little boring, but maybe you'll be able to relax. Just don't fall asleep on me. But it is one of my favorites. <clears throat> I met a rat of culture who was elegantly dressed in a pair of velvet trousers and a silver button vest. He related ancient proverbs and recited poetry. It is better to live on the corner of a roof than to live with a nagging wife. He spoke a dozen languages, eleven more than me. Como estas? Tu es bet. That rat was perspicacious and had cogent things to say on bionics, economics, hydroponics, and ballet. He instructed me in sculpture. He shed light on keeping bees. Then he painted an acrylic of an abstract view of cheese. Don't worry, there's no mistakes, only happy accidents. He had circled the equator. He had visited the poles. He extolled the art of sailing while he baked assorted rolls. He wove a woolen carpet and he shaped a porcelain pot. Then he sang an operetta while he danced a slow gavotte. He was versed in jet propulsion and authority on trains. All of botany and baseball were contained within his brains. He knew chemistry and physics. taught himself to sow. To my knowledge, there was nothing that the rodent did not know. He was vastly more accomplished than the billions of his kin. He performed a brief sonata on a tiny violin. But he squealed and promptly vanished at the entry of my cat. For despite his erudition, he was nothing but a rat. Is, is that it? Well, I guess that's it. But what happened to the rat? Did he make it? Well, some say that he lives on being chased by my cat. Really?
Humbug!